Hello everyone. We will continue the topic update function module and based upon our requirement, we finished with first two steps. We created a table having two columns, date and the count. Then we created a update function module. In that function module, we have written the logic to insert an update to this particular database table. Now, we need to call this logic. We need to call this function module while creating the sales order. Now, lots of understanding will be there. How, how we will call this function module? Why, why we will call this function module in update task? So all these questions will be answered. Firstly, you all know you can create a sales order through VA01 transaction code. So I will go to VA01 transaction code. Suppose I'm passing some order type. I will put some sold to party. I will put some ship to party. I will put some customer reference. For this data, you need to take help of the functional person because maximum time people, what they will do, they will try to give same to same data, which I am passing. See, your system might have different data, but I am putting. So you need to take help from your functional person whenever you are creating these kinds of test cases. I will go for some payment term. Suppose I am giving some material and order quantity. Now, this is your header data. This is your header data, header data. And this is your item data. Header data will go to VBAK table. Item data will go to VBAP table. Now, whenever we will click on to save button, sales order will create. You all know sales order will create. This header data will go to VBAK and item data will go to VBAP table. Now, whenever we will go for save, at that time, we need to pass that data to our table also. We need to update our table also. And to update this table, we have written the logic in the function module. It means whenever we will create a sales order through VA01 transaction code, we need to call this function module. We need to call this function module. Now, VA01 is SAP standard transaction code. There is a SAP program behind this particular transaction code. Whenever you want to add your functionality, whenever you want to add your functionality to SAP functionality, you know we need to take help of which particular topic now? Enhancements and modification. We will make use of which particular topic? Enhancements and modification. See, SAP provided VA01. We are creating a sales order. Now we need to add our own logic to SAP logic that we want to save the count into this particular table. We created a function module. It means this function module, we need to call in SAP logic. We need to add this to SAP logic. So you all know whenever you want to add your functionality to SAP functionality, you will always, always make use of enhancements and modification topic. Now in that playlist, I covered a topic, user exit. And user exit is a modification. If you do not have the knowledge of the topic, no problem. You can refer the playlist of enhancement and modification because that is itself a kernel of SAP. Very, very important topic. That is itself. Now, we will make use of user exit here. And in that playlist, 
I clearly, clearly explained user exit is only, only available in SAP SD module, sales and distribution module. User exit is always, always available in SAP SD module. And in that playlist, I clearly, clearly explain for the you for the sales order for the sales order mv45 afzz this is the one of the most important include program where we have the user exits for the sales order are available user exit for the sales order it is fully fully explained there I am just writing the main, main points here. Now, I will just recap what the points I have need not down here. You need to call your function module in SAP standard code because VA01 is SAP standard transaction code. Now, how you can add your logic to SAP logic with the help of enhancement and modification. And in that, I am taking user exit. Now, user exit is only only in SAP SD module sales and distribution. You all know VA01, VA02, VA03. These all are transaction codes for SAP SD module only. And we have one of the most important program in which we have the user exits available for the sales order. Sales order create, sales order change. This is one of the most, most important include program. And it is fully explained into enhancements and modification playlist also. So I will go for this particular include program and we will check here which user exit fulfills our requirement because in this we have so many user exits but we need to check which user exit will fulfill our requirement and SAP provided excellent documentation you just need to read the documentation and you will automatically come to know which user exit you need to use in that playlist also i used a dedicated user exit by the documentation only now here also whenever i will read the documentation you will realize yes this will fulfill our requirement suppose if i will go for user exits you can see we have user exit delete document it is only to delete the data. We are not deleting data, anything. If I will go for further, this is for modification. We are not going for any modification of screen fields. We are not moving any field to VBAK table. It's clearly documentation is there. There, We are not moving fields to VBAP table. We are not moving fields to VBAP table, VBEP, VBKD. We are not going for any number range. Now, if I will scroll down, we are not reading anything. Now, I will simply, simply come here. Just read the documentation and you will see the answer here itself. Just what it is saying. This user exit is used to save data in additional tables when a document is saved. Yes. Do you have an additional table? Yes, you have an additional table. You created your own table and in that table, you want to save the data whenever we will create a sales order. Yes, we will make use of this particular exit. Just see, now further, so many understanding will be there. Now, this, this form and form, this user exit is called before commit, it is calling before commit and just see here itself. SAP gave the clear, clear documentation what you need to do. Have you seen SAP gave a sample code and SAP is calling the function module what in update task. It means 
SAP will call this function module as update function module and update function module always always trigger after commit after commit now i will put a break point here and i will show you because many people will ask here why why we are calling update function module i will simply write a logic to update that data to this particular table why why we are creating a update function module and calling i can simply write this modify statement here and it will modify the data to our table but sap c gave so many points you need to save data in additional table it means you need to use this user exit you need to write the logic by using update function module that is sap gave the documentation itself now what i will do i will put a break point here i will click on to save button and i will show you why why we are calling this function module in the update task now i will put a break point here and i will click on to save button i am going for save i will go for save it will stop there without debugging you will not be able to understand see i will go to desktop this user exit called before commit commit has not happened yet commit has not happened now if i will show you vbak now if i will show you vbak if i will open you can see we are getting a sales document number 715 just think is 715 saved into vbak or vbap table or it is only only the number generated as of now it's only the number generated as of now because it is before commit commit has not happened yet if i will show you vbak and vbap table this is extremely important understanding because people think i will simply write the logic there why why i am making use of update function module i will go for vbak table i will display i will go to contents if i will go for 715 the c715 has not saved to database yet it is only only the number generated now whenever this this particular this particular user exit called before commit yes this is calling before commit now commit has not happened yet this particular sales order is not saved to database table just think now if you will write a logic here without update if you will write a logic here modify your table from work area if you will write a logic here modify table from work area is it a inconsistency or not it is extremely extremely a inconsistency your sales order has not saved to vbak and vbap table and you are storing to your table with the count suppose think after that sap is saving and some error occurred based upon your perception in your table there is a sales order but in sap table there is no sales order so is it a inconsistency or not yes it is a completely completely inconsistency now think after this logic after this logic sap will do the commit if commit is successful if commit triggered sap will call the update function module and in the update function module we have written the logic to update our own table that's why we will write the logic in the update function module 
into this particular user exit so that after commit work, this particular logic will trigger. If you will simply write a logic here, it will lead to inconsistency because it might be the case you are updating your table and after that, there is a problem of the sales order itself. So it will not go to SAP table, but you are storing into your own table. So many people ask this question, why we cannot write directly? This is just one example I took and SAP jam all in all these things. SAP gave a extremely, extremely good documentation, especially in terms of user exits. Now, what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely, extremely important video. In this video, we are covering the third part of the requirement. Now, we need to call our function module into SAP standard transaction code VA01. You all know you can add your logic to SAP logic through enhancements and modification. And we will make use of modification. And modification is user exit is a modification and it is only in SAP SD module. MV45AFZZ is the extremely important program in which we have the user exits for SAP SD module are, sorry, SAP sales order are available. Whenever you want to go for sales order, maximum user exits or important user exits you will find into this program. We read the documentation and we come to know that this user exit will fulfill our requirement. Now, we read the documentation. Yes, it will fulfill our requirement. This user exit is calling before commit. It means commit has not happened. So I showed you in the debugging mode itself. Whenever we will write the logic without update function module, then in that case, what will happen? You will save the date and count to your table but it has not saved to SAP tables. So you have to wait for the commit. Once commit will happen, SAP will call the function module which is in the update task. So it means it is SAP responsibility to come to this update function module. That's why we are writing the logic in the update function module and SAP gave the clear, clear documentation. If you will not go for update, then after commit work, the control will not come to here. And when commit is successful, when commit is successful into VBAK, VBAP table, after that we need to save to our table. That's why we are making use of update function module. In the next video, I will write the logic and then we will understand in the debugging mode. So that's it in this video. Thank you.